Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Jenny and I have a website called mybritneyspearscollection.com. In today's video, I'm showing you this Electric Fantasy perfume unboxing. This is a 100ml version. I actually got this for Christmas 2021. It's one of the newest ranges of the fantasy perfumes. There's quite a few new ones out there and they all are sort of a spin or a different take on the original fantasy. As you can see from this box, it's still sealed at the time of filming. It is very vibrant very electric sort of a bit of a throwback to 80s disco 70s it's very very pretty just from the graphics of the box so on the front you've got electric fantasy on the back it tells you what the perfume bottle is supposed to look like and it doesn't actually tell you anything else on the box so you have to just go buy either the fact that it's another Britney perfume or you would try it out in the shops I'm trying to show you here the bottom of the box but it was actually a bit hard to read through the plastic so I'll show you that once it's been fully unboxed. I have found some uh, images from the internet which I'll show you here of what it looks like as well or what it's supposed to look like. This is what the perfume bottle is supposed to look like and I'll show you the notes of the perfume as well. So it's supposed to have passion fruit and pink pepper, heliotrope and jasmine and benzoin and ambroxan which I don't know what that's supposed to smell like anyway. So there you go that's electric fantasy. Let's see what it looks like when it gets unboxed. These boxes are always a little bit hard to open. Now I try to open things very very carefully just because I don't want the box to rip. So first of all you have to take off this cellophane. It's a bit wasteful I think to have this cellophane on however it stops the box and the contents being tampered with. I'll show you as well when the cellophane is off what the bottom ingredients show you. It's made in Spain and it's of course by Elizabeth Arden. It says that once you've opened it it is okay for about 36 months and just the normal information you would find in the bottom of a perfume box. So just to remind you as well if you like seeing items like this out of my collection to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell to get all notifications for when my next videos are up and to remind you that I am actually on Patreon if you want to help out my channel or my collection in any way. Way. I've got two starter levels on there, very cheap, but only if you're able to. And thank you so, so much for considering and for my patrons. So let's get back to the box. As I said, they're a bit tricky to get into, but that's just because I don't want to rip it right open. Some people probably don't even care and just rip it open. So you've got to be quite fiddly, a bit wiggly and get this lid out. Once the lid pops out, it shows you the Instagram and Facebook for Britney Spears fragrances. And then you'll see the amount of packaging that goes into this because even though it's 100 ml, it's still quite a small bottle. Look at that. See how much packaging they put in just to make the box seem bigger. And therefore the perfume seem bigger. It is a bit wasteful, but at the same time, it's nice to have a bigger box in my collection. So I just pop that back there so I can put them side to side so you can see. I was actually really pleasantly surprised by the overall look of this perfume bottle. Most fantasy bottles look the same. You'll have this traditional fantasy shape. You've got these diamonds, not real diamonds, but you've got these diamonds all over it. And of course, just the normal information at the bottom about the perfume. But the colours are so, so vibrant in real life. I think it's showing true in this video. You see how bright it is at the bottom. You've got that bright red going into pink, purple, blue, and then you've got the purple collar or lid. It's so bright. I wouldn't call it luminous, but it's really very vibrant. So once you take the lid off, um, I couldn't smell any perfume immediately. I did just smell the lid and smell the spray as well, because sometimes you can smell it as soon as you take the lid off, but it wasn't the case in this perfume. So I sprayed it for the first time and my immediate 
thoughts were, oh, it's very musky. On fair reflection, it may not be musk that I'm smelling, but it is very strong. I wouldn't call it electric, but I would recognize this as a Britney Spears fantasy perfume. It's very similar to Midnight Fantasy, and it's very similar to My Prerogative. I'm sure I've said this previously in different videos about the newer fantasies. They do smell a bit like Midnight Fantasy mixed with something else, or it smells like another fantasy mixed with a different Britney perfume. And it seems like that is possibly what's happened in this case as well. So very musky. Maybe I can maybe smell the pepper. I can't smell jasmine. I wouldn't call it passion fruit either. So that's my impressions of this perfume. It's if you like Britney Spears fantasy perfumes, you will like this one. If you like really pretty bottles for your shelf, you will love this one. It's so vibrant and pretty. I don't mind having them because, as I said, I got this for Christmas. Um, but I would very much like to know what you think of this. Have you smelt it? Is it even available in your country? Please let me know down below in the comments. But there you go, there's not much else I can say about this perfume without you actually smelling it and telling me your thoughts. So I hope that you are able to comment down below. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can visit me over on Instagram at Jenny's Britney Collection. Also, my old Instagram accounts are up and running as well, but I'm mostly on that one. You can visit me over at mybritneyspearscollection.com as well if you want to see more of my collection. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. But just a quick note as well, thank you so much for sticking around. I know I haven't been around for the past few months, but I am back now on YouTube for 2022, so I really hope that you do stick around and are excited to see more videos like this. So there's not much else to say apart from thank you so much and until the next video, take care. Bye guys.